Hello YouTubers, welcome to another video. Today we are going to make a video for Fallout 4 and I'm going to show you how to duplicate coal. Yeah, yeah, for me. So if you're one of those guys like me who play survival and run around in power armor, you'll find that very quickly even though you find a lot of cores that you tend to run out of a lot of, uh, you run through cores pretty quickly, they burn. Especially if you're carrying a lot of weights. Um, then you know it burns through cores rapidly uh, or you're sprinting and it burns through cores rapidly so there's just so many cores you can sort of buy now I, I did was reading that you could take uh, your almost used cores and you could sell it back to a vendor like Carla um, you take your sort of let's say you had one percent or, or one one out of a hundred uh, left on the core you give it you sell it to Carla you sleep you, you, you sleep for 24 hours and then you buy it back from Carla and it's going to be recharged so you, you, you keep on just buying that uh, so that's one way to do it, I haven't tested it but uh, in theory that should work I guess it doesn't work, I have tested it with uh, one of my uh, settlement vendors but unfortunately after 24 hours uh, that core disappeared so I sold it to one of my vendors thinking I could do the trick there and I could just buy it back from my trader but unfortunately it so um, that didn't seem to work, so maybe you have to actually do it with a, a merchant like um, uh, the the weapons dealer at Diamond City or Carlo, or, you know, one of those guys, Trudy, Trudy in the middle of probably do it as well, just not a settlement thing. And then the other thing you can do is you can actually you can actually build a duplication machine. So. Uh, this is my duplication machine here. Yeah, uh, there's different versions I've seen. I've had different versions. I've had the one that sort of goes up, has those tall things and drops it down, things like that. Uh, the problem with that is it causes a cause, or uh, if you're duplicating mini nukes, for instance, it causes them to be stuck in that thing, and, and uh, it's not it's not the very best. So this is uh, the the one I've built, and I think it works the best, and uh, and the reason is it goes in a circle so I've actually seen other people build similar machines but they kind of build only one line so basically what happens is you put it in it goes through the machine they run down they collect it from like the hopper uh, and they're not very efficient build at all so anyone that's doing that just it really doesn't always do it so you want to have a circular or in this case a rectangle, rectangular and I'll show you why because I mean you want whatever you're duplicating to keep going around in circles um, and then coming back so you're not going to be able to duplicate every single time it's a little tricky to duplicate so if you miss the duplication you know it'll go through and come back now the other thing is it's kind of tricky to actually get all these pieces to fit together um, and this is the way I figured that it is so kind of there's two uh, right angle pieces at each side um, those, so you can start with those very easy and then there's a kind of combination because I have this power conveyor about here it kind of throws things a little bit out of whack but I've got one one power conveyor um, that you need to power the whole thing and then I've got a couple of these half conveyors one over there and one over here and then on each side I have a storage unit and then I have one of these uh, vacuum hoppers which you need. So it goes into the storage and then it gets sucked out by the vacuum hopper and keeps on going in circles. Now the reason you want, there's a couple of reasons you want one on both sides is because um, it creates that perfect rectangle. So if you've got the same size, um, all these pieces that are exact same on the, on the right side is the same on the left, then you're going to be able to create that rectangle relatively easy. Um, and the second reason, and very very useful reason that I found uh, recently is you can actually you can have two chances so when it goes in yeah you try grab it and if you don't grab it or even if you do grab it you can actually run over down the side and you can actually grab it again so you get two chances so if you're starting with one piece or one item um, then you can have you can get more opportunities to actually duplicate and it makes it more efficient and faster right uh, once you start get going and you have five or six items then um, you're gonna, you're probably just gonna stand at one side, yeah, um, and just not move because it's just going too quickly and there's too many going around in circles. And I'll show you that in a bit. The other thing I do is I put some of these spotlights here, or I will attach some lights on the side that just gives you a better view, like this light here, gives you a better view to grab stuff, makes it just all lit up while you're duplicating. Um, uh, 
uh, and graving stuff. Now, duplicating cores is actually pretty easy. It's much easier than I thought it would be. The couple of catches, though, is you don't want to duplicate packs of cores um, because for some reason it glitches out and let's say you duplicate in a pack of 15 cores obviously you think okay if I duplicate I'm gonna get 30 cores but for some reason something happens and it takes two out of that 15 and that 15 now becomes two so it kind of glitches out so my recommendation yeah so I lost a whole bunch of cores doing that uh, and this is the same as ammo I noticed that when I was trying to duplicate 2C, 2C ammo and I didn't quite understand why it was doing that but uh, do it uh, one core at a time in this case, or if you're duplicating ammo, do it in, in single packs uh, if, you, if, you, if you really need to do that. Um, and clothes, you can you can also duplicate clothes. So I was duplicating dresses. Um, some are easier to duplicate than others. Um, some dresses, like the green dress, very easy to duplicate. But then I have this uh, fancy dress. I'll show you this one. It's a real pain, this one that this woman's wearing. Um, is very difficult to duplicate for some reason. It's just, I guess, it's just some items a lot harder to duplicate. So, anything that you can that goes in the conveyor, you probably can duplicate. I duplicate weapons like the the spray and spray and pray. You can duplicate. Um, uh, I've done. I've definitely done the the Nuka Cola uh, Fat Man's before. Um, I do the the yeah. pray and spray just so I can give my companion. Um, the same weapon as I have, as well as the last minute, which is the gas rifle, which is kind of really difficult to find. And of course, any legendary weapons, uh, you, 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 want, you might want to duplicate. Now, I do the, the Prime Spray just because it used to be my favorite weapon in non-survival. It's not very useful in survival, but I still use it. So the Spray and Prey, as you can see, I've got multiple ones there. The last minute I've duplicated. Just in case I sell it or I drop it by accident, I have another uh, copy. I don't use mods myself, so if I lose it, I lose it. I can't get it back. So I want to make sure that uh, A, I can give it to my companion, and B, I have an extra copy in case I lose it by accident, right? So, so yeah, you can do weapons, you can do clothes, you can do ammo, uh, and obviously you can do calls, right? Now, just just quickly to show you, uh, if you are looking to uh, just uh, for yeah, my for the settlement, yeah. and I've started doing it, is I give all my settlers these nice n new clothes. They look nicer. It makes it uh, you might not want this, you might want to have that very rough looking, but I mean, it gets kind of a little stale after a while, everyone's looking kind of drab and dreary, but you might want to spice them up a little bit. So as you can see, my settlers all have these nice doctors and doctors clothes, uh, you know, my clothes guys in this nice pinstripe suit. Um, and you can actually build a machine to make clothes. Um, I didn't really investigate, but, uh, you know, you can build a whole bunch of... Uh, uh, clothes. You don't actually have to duplicate these items. Is kind of my point. Uh, just if you didn't wasn't aware, just it's an it's the auto loom machine, and you can you can uh, make dresses and denim uh, dresses and cream dresses which look the best, and then a whole bunch of suits for the guys. So you got tan suit, striped suit, gray suit, blue suit, black suit, casual outfit, t-shirt, and so as checkered red shirt and stuff. So you don't have to duplicate it, but you might find that you found a dress in in the wasteland. And you might want to duplicate it and give it to sort of your your settlers at other settlements while well, you can use this machine to do exactly that this video is about duplicating cores so let's get to it um, so once you've built your machine just power it up connect it to um, you know a generator or whatever and then uh, you know once you have it have it in a rectangle uh, like I said, if you wanted to build the thing that goes up and drops stuff down, you can. It just doesn't work very well with ammo and stuff like that. This is the best design. I've got a few different designs that I've tried over the years. Uh, and this is definitely the better one to build. So, so what I recommend you do is, like I said, do one core at a time. Uh, in this case, we will do, we'll start with two fusion cores. So now if I put two fusion cores in, it'll, it'll send a pack of two down the road. And that's not what I want. So I want to do one at a time, let it go. Once it disappears, and I recommend you start with two, um, two at a time. Don't so I mean, you can start with more, but uh, and then what 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 I do is once I've got uh, ten fusion cores or eleven or twelve fusion cores, then what I do is I'll take uh, I'll take ten or nine of them and I'll put them in a bin somewhere, and I'll let my companion take them, uh, just so I don't lose them and I've wasted all that time to try and try and duplicate them. Right, so I have this little container here and I just chuck my, my few cores in there and then I'll in this case I'll tell Piper to go grab them right so I have nine in that, that little bin there at the moment uh, just to show you I have no more in my inventory here 
uh, back here. So you can see I've got no fusion cores there, and I'll show you uh, how we duplicate them relatively quickly, right? So, so you're not going to be able to duplicate every time, but basically what you want to do is, you know, you just want to kind of sit here as it goes through, as it's about to enter, you grab it, grab it. Now, it's, your time is going to be impeccable. There's no, I can't really tell you, um, you know, the best way to grab it. It's just as soon as it enters into that storage thing, try grab it. I try and do it sort of just as it enters. It's a little bit in the black. Sort of, you could almost say it's half in the half in the the storage and half out. Try and grab it. You'll notice you're going to get a couple of things. Uh, one will say Fusion Core has been removed. You know, at, if you get that message, it has not duplicated. Uh, the other thing, you'll you'll grab it directly out of the storage and it'll just land up your inventory. You didn't duplicate it. You'll also get a clicking sound. It'll make kind of like a click. Uh, that doesn't do it. I think that the time that it does duplicate. Um, is when you see a green a green box and there's no noise. Uh, that's kind of uh, my my take on that. Uh, but don't worry about that too much. All you do is you just keep on grabbing it and eventually it'll start duplicating. So as you can see, we grabbed it there. I have uh, I still only have two. I got one there. I got one there. I run down here and then I do it again. Right. So now you, I'm going to my second opportunity. So I get to do it twice um, versus waiting for it to to go all the way around. Okay, so as it goes in, just grab it. Okay, so when you see that fusion core removed, you know it has not duplicated. Okay, so we're going to put that back. And then we have one. And then we still have two. Okay. And you just keep doing it. And sometimes it'll take sort of, you know, it'll take 15 minutes to do that first one. And then sometimes it'll be really quick. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep doing it. So as it goes in, you kind of grab it, check your inventory, and if the, you have one in your inventory, just put it back. It doesn't mean you didn't duplicate it, but uh, you'll see uh, sometimes you'll have an extra one, and then it'll turn into three, right? So, so far we haven't been able to duplicate it. That's why you want it to go in circles, just so, you know, when you don't get it, it just keeps on going and then you keep on trying versus, you know, you have to take it out of a hopper or something. Uh, you want it to be able to go into some sort of circle or rectangle and just keep going. And then you'll notice the more fusion cores, obviously you have three, four, five, then you're going to get more opportunities to actually do more. So you can start with more if you want. I generally start with two, and then I just wait for it to kind of turn into... Okay, so there you go. Uh, I now have three cores. I don't even. Want, yeah, I mean, there's, there's no real way to know whether you've duplicated it, other than just keep putting them back on the conveyor, and you'll see the the, the more and more will come, right? It's a little bit harder when they're going on the side because you've got less of kind of a window to grab them. Okay, so there you go. I've got now four. I turned those two into four, so I've doubled up on my cores. So I got two there. And 
always put just one back, so just always do one at a time, keep them in single pairs. So I've got one, two, three. Three there. I still got three on the conveyor, I believe. So now you're getting so many, um, you, you're at the point where you don't need to move anymore, right? So you kind of just stand at whichever side you prefer and you just let it circle around without you running back and forth. Just because they're moving so quickly along the Let's see what's coming out there. Yeah, you could still run down there if you wanted, but Okay, so let's see, let's see if we can do a quick count here. We've got one, two. And that's all you do, you just keep on doing that, let them go around, and then, uh, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about the timing or worry about listening for noises, there's no perfect timing, just as it goes into the little dark uh, storage um, thing, just grab, try and grab it. And the same thing with other items, if you're trying to duplicate armor or guns, let it go, I mean, guns which are longer, let it go halfway in, and then grab it. Um, Eventually, you'll duplicate them. There are some things that don't go well on conveyors. I've tried to try to duplicate the Vertibird uh, grenades. They just don't. They don't play nicely on this conveyor belt. They get stuck at the corners for some reason. Uh, so it's kind of almost pointless to actually do it. You know, so as long as it moves along the conveyor, guns and that kind of fall off the sides and stuff. Just grab it, pick it up, and then put it back uh, into the storage and just send it on its way. So quick count here, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think we have about seven, I guess.
might actually be easier just to do this in uh, So let's go grab them all and we'll do like a final count check quick. As you can see we probably spent a little bit around 10 minutes I guess. A bit longer, give or take. Like I said, try and avoid doing the, the, the bigger packs. If you want to try that, by all means, just be aware. Save your game before you do that so you don't lose. Uh, you know, if you have like 30 cores and you're trying to duplicate it, uh, save it. Um, just so if you do lose it, then you can just reload it. Okay, so let's just take a quick look here. So, so there we go. We have eight cores. I start with two. We've got six more. And then, you know, it took around 10 minutes or so. Like I say, sometimes it'll go quicker. Uh, sometimes it'll take you just 15 minutes to do that first first one or get, if you've never done this duplication, uh, you know, just to get kind of used to it. Um, like I say, you just point there and just grab it as it hits the, uh, the black hole. Um, you need a storage, um, you need storage units to that. Conveyor storage, vacuum hopper, you need a power conveyor, you need four right angle ends, and then the same thing on the side plus a half a conveyor, and then you should have a square. Now this storage hopper doesn't actually click in, it kind of clicks in on this side, so sometimes I have to place this guy last because it's a little tricky to get him quite centered, you can kind of see he's not quite uh, uh, flush with the sides, and you'll find that sometimes you know it is a bit off for some reason even though in theory because these things are all um, connected it should actually be flush but for some reason it kind of goes off a little bit but that's okay it doesn't have to be perfectly flush just kind of do these guys these hoppers last and then do the rest build the rest uh, first and then you should be able to okay, right hand so there you go, I hope you found that useful. If you did, or if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to try and answer all any questions. Uh, but yeah, you can use this to duplicate pretty much anything, guns, weapons, clothes, you name it. Yeah. It's a great sort of duplication mm -hmm. tool. I wouldn't bother with duplicating power armor. There's another glitch that you can do that. Just check out my channel. There's a much easier way to duplicate any power armor. Um, and there's also a duplication glitch, as I'm sure most of you would know how to duplicate raw materials such as wood and, and steel and things like that. Um, plus if you get the, you, sometimes you need to do that, a lot of times the first thing I do when I build my settlements is I, I build a general store first and that way I can buy wood and I can buy steel and uh, just use caps that I use from water so I mean you don't actually have to duplicate everything it's only the stuff yeah, that you yeah, want if you are building big settlements like I do then you know even that 250 wood just doesn't cut it you run out of that pretty quick right uh, but there's a there's a different glitch uh, that allows you to duplicate third materials at the workshop uh, much easier to do than, than mess around with us or in theory I'm sure you can duplicate wood right in this machine uh, maybe you find that easier I don't know maybe less on the less uh, 
uh, on your your hands. Your hands get really sore if you do the the workshop one, but uh, your fingers. Are really into it, so uh, it might be a better way to do it. Huh? Huh? But anyway, so I hope you did find that useful. If you did, please hit the like button. If you are uh, new to my channel, and please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate uh, subscribers. Um, and it allows me to make more videos. Thanks again. I hope you found that useful. Enjoy. Got work to do. And talk. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that.